Fox News is going to have a debate here about whether or not women should be allowed as special ops. And it gets a little tense towards the end here because a female military veteran is kind of more or less spoken down to and told like, yeah, no, you shouldn't be allowed as special ops. Take a look. Well, a controversial new study about women serving in special forces. A survey found a majority of men in U.S. special ops don't think women are up to the task. They fear the Pentagon will lower the standards to integrate women into their elite units. So should women be able to join these elite ranks? Here to debate it, senior military advisor at Concerned Veterans for America and combat veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan, Amber Smith, and former Navy SEAL Carl Higby. Thanks for being with us, both of you. Thanks for having us. Carl, I'll start with you. You say this is a bad idea and it will lead to an increase in deaths and what else? Well, I, I think it's what it is, is it's a political correct push from bureaucrats to try to uh, push more women into a SEAL community that uh, is not ready for. And I don't think it, it it's, needs to be there when the lines of margin are so small and uh, adding another variable of instability is just unnecessary. Well, we're looking at video at um, Camp Lejeune, which is a Marine base, but I was uh, there back in 2013 following the 2012 lift on the ban uh, having women in combat positions. And what I found there, Amber, is that the, the women, yes, it was hard for them, but once they put on the helmets and they have on their pack and everything else, they felt like just one of the guys and the guys thought they were just one of, the, one of them. What do you say? Well, I think the number one thing that we have to remember here is that mission success must always come first, not gender success. Right. Uh, so there needs to be this standard across the board uh, standard that isn't reduced to a gender uh, norm standard in order, so, in order for women to be able to pass these tests. Women don't want that. Women don't want special treatment uh, in the military. It doesn't do them any favors and it doesn't do the military as a whole any favors. So I, I feel uh, with, the, with the concerns of those who were surveyed um, ab about they be, them being worried that the Pentagon might, you know, cave to political pressure and reduce those standards. That's not what is best for the military at all. Is this just a glass ceiling that needs to be broken through as long as the physical standards remain intact? Well, I think there's no question that the dynamic of a group will change drastically once females are introduced to a sort of all-male environment that's been that way since they were created. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it won't work. And I'm sorry, but I don't think that the excuse of disturbing the good old boys club is a valid reason that females should not be able to try and assess for these units if they can meet the exact same standards uh, that men do. I think it really comes down to the maturity and the professionalism of the unit. Yeah, for the most part, men are typically stronger than women and would be more qualified for that. But there's always the exception to the rule, the women who are very strong and have that warrior spirit and all of that. Carl, I'm going to give you the last word on this. Uh, I want you to hit on, is, is, does this make chivalry dead as well? I mean, would you, if you're fighting alongside a female, would you feel more uh, obligated to go help her rather than one of your brothers in combat? I mean, I think so, yes. It's, it's human nature to care for a woman. Um, and the fact of the matter is here, I don't think that uh, just because some woman somewhere probably could doesn't mean they should yes it does that's exactly what it means just because they could doesn't mean they should no if they can reach the same standards that the men can of course they should why the fuck shouldn't they because you want to make a broad sweeping rule that says no women under any circumstances because me and my buddies like to circle jerk at night and fart into a can and sniff it with each other Fuck off, I don't give a shit about... And I love how they, they, they cited, like, a poll earlier. You know, special ops themselves say that women probably shouldn't be allowed. Okay, I, should we care about that? Is this a military dictatorship? Is that how it works? If you poll them about 9-11, probably a majority of them think Saddam Hussein was responsible. That doesn't mean it's true. You know, if you poll them, they probably think they should run the country. That doesn't mean they should. It's irrelevant. Look, here's the, the bottom line. If they lower the standards to allow women in, would I support it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There should be no two standards in a job as rigorous and important as that, where, you know, you do have, uh, you have to have the highest 
level of training, and you have to have all the necessary skills to pull off any mission. So if you lower the standards, I'm against it. But if you keep the standards the same, and you just allow women to try out, and either they make the, the, the highest standards or they don't, then I don't know how anybody could even make a theoretical argument to be against it, unless they're just a silly person who has a fucking mental block in their head where they go, under no circumstances allow women ever for anything ever, because even if they're qualified, fuck them, I don't care. Well, then that is discrimination. There's no other thing to call it. Look, I get it. If you lower the standards and then women get in that way, yes, that's not... It's a totally different thing, and I'm with the conservatives in that respect. Don't lower the standards. But if you keep the standards the same and women make it, and you still say no, well then the only th way to describe that is you are discriminating against them. Fucking ISIS is being beaten by women right now! That's something that nobody ever talks about this. This is conveniently left out of the debate about whether or not women should be in the military and whether or not they should be allowed in special ops. The Kurds have an all-female fighting force, and they've been consistently fucking ISIS up. So this idea that you could, you know, make a broad generalization and say no women ever can engage in combat or can be special ops and they just can't do the job because I say so, that's just not true.